Hello and welcome to Tip and Trick Civils 002 titled Drape in an Aerial Photograph. The purpose of the Tip and Trick is to enhance your skills and share with you solutions to problems that other users experience. Our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk. If you require more information about our support desk, then please contact Customer Services on 01784 419 or email customer.services at cadline.co.uk. All of our tips and tricks can be found on our website www.cadline.co.uk. Please remember that we are issuing tips and tricks for all Autodesk products as well as the one you're about to watch. So first of all, to drape a aerial photograph onto a surface, um, first of all we need to build a surface. So I'm going to just create a surface in the normal way. I'm just going to call this existing ground. Press OK. And then I'm just going to import some point files or a point file. Um, brown. I've got some point files that have got OS data with them. So they're in the right place. And there we have a triangulated surface created very, very quickly. What I'm just going to quickly do is just tidy up this, this surface um, and just get rid of some of the, uh, the larger triangles. So delete line. Use the C, enter as a crossing window. It makes life a bit easier and a bit quicker to clean up your surface. Zoom and there we go. That should clean up this last one, and that should be enough. There. So all we need to do is first of all insert the image into the drawing. So we go to the map menu, image, insert, and I have an image called JS Local. I just press open. Just wait for that to uh, to load. And then on the, um, the size of the map, it will just take a bit longer to load. You can see that there's an image correlation box that's just uh, appeared. Um, that just puts the uh, error for photograph in the correct place. So I'll press OK to that. So all I need to do now is do a quick draw order and find uh, there's my surface. So I'll just type in DR, enter, select my surface somewhere around here. There it is. Enter. Move that to the front. So there we've got our surface. And what I'm going to quickly do is just change the style. So surface properties. I'm just going to change the style to cool contours. One of five meters. And the next thing I need to do is just go to the surface menu, utilities utilities drape image so that's the image I've inserted that's my surface I want to put it on press OK and that's done now straight away you won't see nothing appears to have happened but if we go to select the surface and go to object viewer just wait for that to to happen see that the aero photograph has been draped on the surface as it should be. Now that will even drape it. If I change the style to an exaggerated style, even five times, uh, apply that, OK. And if I put that in object viewer, this will take some time to, to load, but uh, You'll see that even with, it, even with it being exaggerated, the surface being exaggerated, the uh, the map has been draped over pretty much like a blanket over the top, so it uh, it will um, follow the contours and follow the exaggeration. There you go. Becomes useful. Um, so when you're finishing off your sites, um, it's a useful thing to do. There you go.